Hello world, Krista here with Books and Jams, and it's time for my April TBR. As I was getting ready to share what I was hoping to read in April, I really kind of discovered that I want to keep it pretty open and light. I do have a lot of books here to share with you, but only a few that I'm absolutely going to be reading in April, and the rest are kind of things on my radar. So let's just get right into it. The first book that I'll definitely be reading in April is the book for my read-along pick for the month, my Goodreads read-along group. Um, for the last couple months we've been reading books together and this was a book that was suggested by a lot of people and it's Lillian Boxfish Takes a Walk by Kathleen Rooney. This is a book about Lillian Boxfish who is the highest paid advertising executive I believe for Macy's. So it starts her life in the 1930s when she's kind of beginning to work her way up that corporate ladder and until she's in her 80s and it just tells the story of this working woman and her life and one day she does go out for a walk and walks all around New York City. I think this is more a character study of this woman and the women in the workplace, a look at that, and I don't really know much else about it. I've heard that a lot of people really have enjoyed this book, so I'm looking forward to reading it along with you. If you'd like to join in, I will put a link to the Goodreads group below. I'm looking forward to hearing your thoughts and sharing my thoughts with you in that Goodreads group. So join us if you would like to read this book. The next thing that I'm going to talk about real quick is that I did not finish Homegoing in the month of March. This was my Booktuber Recommends pick for the month of March and I didn't finish but I am nearly finished. I have just about a quarter of the way to go. I'll finish it very early on in April so that will be a continuation of my March TBR, but also I need to pick the next book from my Booktuber Recommends jar. So I'm just going to shuffle these around. There's a lot that are stuck together. If you're not aware, I have asked 12 Booktubers to recommend a book to me, and I will put a link down below and maybe in the card somewhere to the video where I share all the different books that are in this jar so you know what the possibilities are but I will just go ahead and pick one. It is, it's gonna be a thriller Before I Go to Sleep by S.J. Watson from Julie at A Girl in a Book. So I do not own this one. I will have to borrow it from the library, but that's good because I don't, it'll be different from the other books that I've chosen this month. And it's been a little while since I've read a thriller, so I will go ahead and pick that one up from the library and read that book. So that will be on my list of books that I'm going to get to. Although, I've been late every month with my Booktuber Recommends picks, but I'm going to do my best. I have here just a couple other books to show you. I did not get to these three books in March. These were on my March TBR. And they are books that I definitely still want to read. I have the Circle on Hold from my Overdrive app for the audio book of The Circle. So hopefully when that comes in, I will be able to listen to that one. And this is gonna be a movie coming out in April, I believe in April. So this is The Circle by Dave Eggers. I also have here The Underground Railroad by Colson Whitehead and Perfect Little World by Kevin Wilson. You can check out my March TBR where I talk a little bit more about those. I'm not gonna spend too much time, but I'm kind of keeping them out. I'm not reshelving them so that if I get into the mood for one of those, I'll pick it up. If you just watched my first book haul from March, you'll see that I hauled a book for review called Sacred Scarred, and this is a Beauty and the Beast retelling with a faith emphasis, a Christian emphasis. It's modern day as well, so I'm looking forward to reading this and letting you know my thoughts on that. Thank you to Joanna Alonzo for sending this my way. So that's on my pile for this month. Also in that haul, Tabitha Kaplinger sent me book one and two of her series Chronicle of the Three, Bloodline and Armor Bearer. These are shorter books. I'm not sure if they're middle grade or YA. I've never read them. Those are on my radar this month as well if I have a chance to pick them up or if the mood is striking me for something more fantasy related then these are what I will go towards. I'm really hoping to continue with my Anne of Green Gables. I did not read any in March so in April I'd like to pick up the third one, which is called Anne of the Island. I'm hoping for more Anne and Gilbert in this one. I actually can't remember, but I'm sure it will be more Anne and Gilbert. So I'm gonna be picking this one up, hopefully in April. 
I am not positive if I'm going to be participating in Tome Topple, the readathon that I've heard about for April, which is where you kind of tackle some larger books that you've been maybe putting off. I did just haul this copy of Jane Eyre, which is a chunker. I think Jane Eyre is a pretty big book anyways, and I've never read it. If I decide I'm going to participate in Tome Topple, then this is the book that I will be focusing on. I was going to pick out two or three, but I think I'll just stick to one. So if I'm in the mood for a classic or want to really connect with other booktubers who are doing Tome Topple, Jane Eyre is my go-to for that. Then I have a middle grade here, Howl's Moving Castle, which I believe is also a movie. I've never seen the movie, but I've heard lots of good things about this middle grade fantasy. And it's been a while since I've read a middle grade fantasy. So this will be probably a quick read. I mean, the, the spacing is huge and the margins are wide and... It's, it just seems like it will be a nice, quick, fun read. Maybe interspersed with Jane Eyre, I'll throw in some Howl's Moving Castle. We'll see. The final book that I have my eye on for the month of April is this book that I just hauled from the thrift store. And this is Mr. Fitzwilliam Darcy, The Last Man in the World by Abigail Reynolds. This is just a fun take on Pride and Prejudice where what if Elizabeth Bennet accepted Mr. Darcy's proposal the first time he asked. It just seems like a fun story. It's also not very long. I have that on my radar. I have no idea what I'm going to end up reading in the month of April. For sure, I'll be reading these three. I'll be finishing Homegoing, reading my Goodreads group book, and my Booktuber Recommends pick. Those are definites. And if I participate in Tome Topple, it'll probably be Jane Eyre and Howl's Moving Castle. These are the rest of the books that are kind of on my radar for the month. So I guess you'll just have to wait and see. <laughs> I guess I'll just have to wait and see. All of these are kind of going to be out on the top of a shelf or on the top of my stand next to the chair in my bedroom where I often read. Uh, they will not be shelved on my shelves. I want them out and open because they're kind of what is jumping out to me right now. So I would love to hear from you. Are you having a strict April TBR this month? What's one book you're really looking forward to? Are you participating in Tome Topple? I would love to know that. Maybe you'll convince me to join in the fun. I'll be talking to you soon, and I hope you're having a great day. Bye!